This local sports report is brought to you by BFD Rona, a proud supporter of the Waterloo Siskins. BFD is home to Kitchener Waterloo's largest fence and deck showroom. BFD is also KW's only Rona store with a complete line of lumber, hardware, and building supplies. Whether you are a do-it-yourselfer or want a professional installed deck or fence, visit BFD Rona at Forwell Road and Victoria Street North in Kitchener or email experts at bfdrona.com. Justin Zuber and the Waterloo Siskins coming off a convincing win in Game 1 of the Sutherland Cup Championship Series. Waterloo took the series opener 9-4 over London and they were shooting for a 2-0 series lead on Sunday afternoon. The Nationals looking to rebound on the road and even the series at one game apiece. And with the fans still finding their seats, Christian Polillo opens the scoring. 39 seconds into the game. What a start for the Nationals. They take an early 1-0 lead. Later, Siskins goalie Matanuska with the puck behind the net, and he is tripped up by Cohen Kitely. That gives Waterloo a two-man advantage for one minute and 43 seconds as Kitely heads off to the penalty box. The Siskins looking to capitalize. Alex Lysette with a great chance in front, stopped by Zach. Jack Springer, the Nats netminder with a big save, and London would kill off the penalties. Then it's the Nationals with a man advantage. George Diaco in the middle, one-timer scores. Diaco's ninth goal of the playoffs makes it 2-0 London after one. Early in the second, Winston Sesnick centers and it bounces to Brett Schaefer. Waterloo is on the board. That's number seven for Schaefer. The Siskins trail 2-1 and they pull even just over a minute later. Matthew Pruka from the top of the circle scores the equalizer. London's two goal lead is gone. We are knotted at two. Midway through the frame, back come the Nationals. Kyle Dawson in front with the redirect. Big goal from the Nationals captain. He makes it 3-2. And before the period is over, London looking for more. George Diaco to Cal Davis. Matanuska pad save. He denies Davis. London is up 3-2 after 40 minutes. And let's move to a crazy third period. Alex Chimino with a lead pass. As for Owen Lane, he's got a break and he's got a goal. Lane now has four goals in this series. He ties the game at three. Late in regulation, watch number 12. That's Matthew Pruka. He is called for cross-checking behind the net. So London to the power play with 2.13 left on the clock. And the Nationals convert with the man advantage. Cal Davis buries it, giving London the lead with a buck 55 to go. The Nationals are on top. It's 4-3. The Siskins now with an empty net. Austin Jeffers is called for holding. With 47 seconds left on the clock, Waterloo with a six on four advantage. This is Jeff Schratner on the far side looking for a shooting lane. Top of the circle, Schratner scores. The Siskins tie the game with 16.2 seconds left in regulation. What a wild game two. It's four all and we need overtime. Early in the extra frame, Jeff Schratner over to Sam Spate. Game winner. Spate is the hero, scoring 104 into overtime, and the Siskins storm off the bench to celebrate. They come from behind and win it by a final score of 5-4. Waterloo is now up 2-0 in the series with game three on Wednesday back in London. Sam Spate scoring one of the biggest goals of his career, giving the Siskins a victory in game two. It ranks up there for sure, uh, along with my game six OT winner last year against Kitsch, but that one uh, took a little bit more hand-eye than the last one, so that one, um, 
is definitely probably my favorite and best one uh, so far in my junior career. In my mind, I saw that uh, there was an opening down the middle, and uh, Lysette actually, before that period started, he told me, when you make a pass, just drive the net as hard as you possibly can. That's what I did. Uh, Shratner thankfully saw me, gave me an okay pass. Thankfully, I got it, and uh, I just kind of threw it um, across my body, hoping it would go in, and barely went in and hit the post. And, uh, I'm just happy we got it done early. This is what we've been setting out since day one, and, and to have that and to be up to is like, you can't even put it into words right now. We're, the emotions and the adrenaline and the, and the feelings in that dressing room right now are, they're emotional, they're high, they're, they're, they're just isn't words. We're on a cloud nine right now, and I just hope that we can keep it going. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.